2019, there was a tournament like no other, a tournament that united the best of the best from the Dinosaur King community to battle out for the crown of the true Dinosaur King. Five different champions, five years later, we are back. Hello everybody, this is Dreaming of a Back and it is finally time for the big announcement. So I have been teasing this for the past few weeks and we are going to kick off Dinosaur King World Championship 6 with this beautiful ass thumbnail and we even have a trophy. You know, six years I've been doing this, never really had a trophy pick but we got one now, an official Dinosaur King trophy and we got all the previous champions on there. So what's new for this year? Well, let's find out, shall we? Before I continue, because I just know that one of you watching this video will be, Oh, I'll submit a team in the comment section real quick. Oh, I gotta enter, gotta enter. And then I'll tell you why you can't enter. So, quick summary, make sure you watch the whole video. You don't want to miss out on any rules and changes I've made for this year. Let's get started, shall we? Okay, time for the rules. So, we are going to be 3v3 this year. A lot of you seem to like 3v3 more than tag team, so... 3v3 it is. Um, well, the group stage format will depend on the number of entries I get. And uh, the group draw will that will depend on who ends. Like I normally do, guys that have done well in previous tournaments will get a higher seed in, in the group stage. But, you know, more on that when I actually do the draw. Um, we I, do, I have included a limited list for the first time. You know, a proper one. Um, egg cards and cluster cards are banned. You know, that's run of the mill on this channel so yeah only two dinosaurs with 2000 strength are allowed per team practically all the gold cards uh, only one armor dinosaur per team and only one of super eocarcaria or super fairy allowed per team and one rule that i actually forgot to add last year if you do use an alpha dinosaur that dinosaur must have at least one alpha move now alpha moves can be anything from well i've listed them here as you can see you have to use one of their moves if you're using an alpha dinosaur. You know, make it make it a bit interesting, really. And, okay, one of the first changes this year, which was actually suggested to me by uh, our current champion, of all people. The semi-final round and the finale is going to be a best of three matchup. That, that will make things a little bit more interesting. And maybe we'll have a very exciting finale. Because last year's finale was kind of a letdown, let's be honest. It wasn't as close as I... As we had hoped it would be. Like normal, you can submit your team by leaving a comment down below this video. Not like the video I post five days later. This has got to be this video. With the hashtag 2K Tournament 2024. That's because I'm on the brink of 2,000 subscribers, which is awesome. And yeah, I, I, I just want to say like a big, big thanks to everyone who has subscribed, leave likes, comments, watched. On a personal note, ever since I was little, I, I used to do tournaments like this, you know, but I ne never had anyone to do it with. I always have to do it with my on my own or with uh, computers and NPCs. This is the first time that I can actually do a tournament like I want to do it with people. I know that the moves are randomly generated and that. You know, there's some things I can't avoid. Honestly, been awesome since 20 since I started in 2019. I've just been blown away by the entries, the submissions, the the camaraderies, the rivalries. It's it's just what it's all about. It's just amazing. I think some of us, particularly last two years, have kind of forgotten. You know that this is just a bit of fun. It's just a guy trying to make videos. What happens in the matchups should stay in the matchups. And I hope that um, people will take that into consideration for this year. And I know that we had a, a lot of people like rooting against certain individuals who will re remain nameless for like no reason at all. And I'm like, grow up. Like, if this person wins, they win. Like, that's that's that. Don't whine about it. It's just you're you're actually worse than that person you're calling out. You know, I love every single person that enters, but when I face them, of course I want to win. Of course I want to kill your team. I, I want to massacre your team. You know, any matchup I want to have against anyone, I want to win 3-0. But I'm not going to sit here and whine if I get beat. You know, it happens. Right, anyway, enough of that smushy mooey crap. So yeah, message me on Discord like normal. Or you make sure you use the hashtag, this hashtag here, if you uh, leave a comment down below this video. Just so I can, it's easier for me to read. Like, like normal, do not use multiple accounts to enter. Anyone who is caught using multiple accounts will be kicked out of the tournament. 
and will be banned from participating in future tournaments. So just don't do it. And the deadline to enter is, is the 25th of March, so just before Easter. So you guys got plenty of time. So you don't have to like rush in the comment section and enter a team. You got plenty of time. Right, on to the actual conditions now. So first off, we're going to go through the limited list. Right, so the following dinosaurs and moves are officially banned for this tournament. So we got the usual run of the mill, haste, life force swap. And yes, I know a lot of people are not going to be happy with this. I have decided to ban Brontokins. Now, the reason I have banned Brontokins is because last year, it was so dominant in teams. And, you know, our champion, Maastrician, had one. And, you know, it was very dominant, no matter who used it. So it wasn't just Maastrician. Anyone who used it, you know, they had such a high win rate with it. For that reason, and the fact that it doesn't have a lot of bad matchups either, I am going to ban it this year. But don't worry, in future tournaments, Brontokins, I'm sure, will make a return. But for this year, I am going to ban it. Now, I did contemplate banning Omega Eel Karkaria, but that is staying in by virtue of the fact that, you know, we do see a lot of water dinosaurs in this tournament. So the bad matchups kind of outbalance him out a bit. The following dinosaurs and moves have been limited to one per team. So, you know, only one armor dinosaur, only one of these guys. Actually, that needs, that needs to be changed. Ignore that. <laughs> uh, secret dinosaurs should be down here. Uh, technique boost, defense boost, and attack boost, because these see so much play, is ridiculous, especially technique boost. So I have limited it to one per team. So you're only allowed to use the move once. And death fire, you know, you know why. Dino stuffer is really, really dope. Right, I've also limited certain dinosaurs to two per team. So you all, you all know that the goals are limited to two. All super dinosaurs are limited to two per team. So you can have like super eel Karkiria and super T-Rex. You can't have Super Eel Kark, Super T-Rex, and another Super Dinosaur. And for my uh, Japanese viewers, I have translated a lot of this, which you'll see at the end of the video to help you out. Uh, light Recovery, because it's ridiculously common, and I see it in every team, and Elemental Power. Oh, and uh, Secret Dinosaurs, like I said earlier. So that is basically the limited list. Right, now on the terrain advantage, and, you know, I have taken a lot of what, feedback I received last year with regards to terrain advantage into account so I have changed it quite a bit so terrain disadvantage is completely gone there's no more terrain disadvantage all the terrain advantages are the same so volcano field favors fire types Colosseum favors secrets and alpha testing field favors alphas now I have changed how terrain advantage will work so instead of getting it every time your dinosaur comes in you will only get it once in the entire match. So, even if you have three fire dinosaurs and you're on the volcano field, you'll only get terrain advantage once, and I'll be with your first fire dinosaur. And like last year, dinosaurs with terrain advantage will always get the first hit when starting or coming in after a dinosaur dies. That hit will always beat your opponent's critical move. So if your opponent's critical move is rock, then your dinosaur will hit with paper. But the amount of times you get terrain advantage has changed and been reduced to one. Right, on to some more rulings. So with blitz types and quick strike, I've changed this as well a little bit because I think there's only one other person other than myself that used the uh, blitz type and quick strikes. So I'm hoping I can encourage more people to use blitz types in this tournament. So first off, any dinosaur that uses quick strike will always start with scissors when coming in or after any terrain advantage. To paraphrase, at the start of the match, if there's any terrain advantages, that will happen first. And then the quick strike rule will take place. So you will go with scissors. Quick strike rules will be ignored if you're using it on a blitz type dinosaur. And finally, any dinosaur that is blitz type or super blitz type, because I know Ace is super blitz, will always start with two crits in a row after any terrain advantages take effect. So that should make things a little bit spicy. So I hope that will encourage more people to play blitz types. Right, move removal effects haven't changed much. So if your opponent loses a move by a shockwave effect or a critical block, your, your move will always be the one that cannot lose and then your opponent's move will be randomly generated. Consecutive move removal takes place. This rule will not apply and your move will be generated randomly like normal. And again, super dinosaurs, nothing has changed. 
not allowed to use any of these moves on a super dinosaur because they're a pain in the ass to get right especially when that dinosaur is awakened when if you do use a super dinosaur you have to state how many times you want me to wait before activating the awaken mode right now on to the application format so i have formatted the application here just to help help you guys out a bit so at the top your username and this will be the name that i will refer to you as i know some people like to have different usernames from the for the tournament character card if you're using any if you if you don't specify it'll just be default your first dino battle type if you're picky and then your move set and then likewise for dinosaur 2 and dinosaur 3 as you can see and and as you can see over here i've uh, listed out an example team for you so we have super taurosaurus await the mode on the four and yeah that is pretty much it now so <laughs> get entering and make sure to spread this video because i know every single year i do a tournament i start it i get like two videos in and someone will comment like oh my god how do you enter this tournament so yeah tell everyone you know tell your relatives your gramps your uncles your great aunt cousin whatever hell even tell your pet if you want spread the love to make sure that nobody misses out this year that is it so best of luck everybody i look forward to seeing your teams and make sure you end up before the 25th of march and until then ta-ta right as promised i will go through each section in uh, japanese I hope Google Translate works. <laughs> if it doesn't, then, well, sorry.